fucking hell, God, why? So loud. Not expecting that. Oh my God. Anyways, hi guys. Welcome back to Oakwood. <laughs> Last we left off, we escaped the narrow clutches of Velociraptors uh, in what genuinely felt like a Jurassic Park uh, inspired escape. Um, well, you know, I don't really think it matters which way I go here. Uh, am I gonna have to run from anything? Anyways, this game is great. This is, this definitely feels like a Jurassic Park inspired game and I, I, I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna like it, you know, cause I don't really know what could be out here still. What might, might want to munch on my, my man parts. Um, as weird as that sounds to say, but you know, here we are. Can I not cut through here? You got me all gated off, you butthole. Okay, well I could go that way, or I could go this way. Does this all circle around the same way? I feel like it might. Ooh, that's kind of cool. That's a cool little aesthetic. Some moss hanging from some vines. Kind of like an archway. So anyways, how y'all doing? <laughs> what y'all been up to? How's how's life? I hope life is going well for y'all. Okay, I can still turn on my on and off my flashlight. Okay. Uh here we go. Ah, fuck. Alright. The big open area. I feel like I'm gonna have to run from something here pretty soon. This is just too damn quiet. Oh, look, the raptors, they got out. You know, I'm I'm right here out in the wide open. Surprised they didn't take that advantage. The opportunity to uh Oh, motherfucker. Okay, well, I guess Oh, what the hell? I have to start from all the way back here? That's bullshit. Alright, I'll be back. Okay, interesting. It didn't feel the need to chase me in the bushes? Or through, through here? I feel like I need to keep running. So that's what I'm gonna do. We're just gonna keep running. We're just gonna keep running. Cause fuck those guys. What is this? To Zoe underscore cupcakes at qmail.com. Hey Zoe, check out this place. I just got a random invite to this campground. Thoughts, directions attached. Looks cool. Is that my backpack? It looks like my backpack. All right. Anyways, I no longer trust this environment. Oh, I see bushes. I see more bushes. I hear. The Velociraptors. Uh, I'm literally going to keep running. Uh, no, no, fuck your cries for help. There's nothing chasing me, right? Like I'm, I'm good. Cause I want to look around. Look, use a little jeepy jeep. Vehicle needs gas. I need to find gas for a lay vehicle. Am I gonna have to remember where this is? Okay. Oh come on. Am I just constantly running from something now? Is that I don't like? Y'all know me. Y'all know I don't like that I have to constantly run from stuff. Oh look, gas. How much gas do I need? I sure hope I don't have to constantly run from something. That shit sucks. I think it, that's a game play mechanic that just kills a lot of uh, horror games. Um, is constantly running from something.
Please don't eat me. Okay. So it did something. Did it lure the Velociraptors away? Or, or is it waiting for me now? I, I don't really know. I'm scared. I don't want to keep... I don't want to keep going. You ever seen fucking Lost World Jurassic Park? Stay out of the long grass! Yeah. That's, oh God, stay out of the long grass. 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 Fuck. Shit. Fuck. Shit. I'm gonna get eaten in this tall grass. Oh. Ah. Uh, I just it's keep running. Is that all? Oh, I hear them behind me. I hear them behind me. Fuck, there's a shack. Daddy. Daddy, no. Daddy, please. Uh. 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 I am so afraid. So afraid. I just, I hear them behind me. And I know they're chasing me. Is there be more? don't know what to do, chat. I'm so scared. I'm so startled. I mean, it's fine. That's what, it, that's the point of a horror game. Yep, here they are. I hear them. Oh my God, he's on my asshole. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, oh, there's one up there too. Oh boy. There's another shack there. Please let me make it. Please don't eat me. I'm a good boy. Uh, 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 uh. Good God, man. I don't like just constantly running from things. I don't like it. It's a mechanic that kills horror games for me. I'm not saying it's constantly a bad idea to have it in your horror game. Or that it shouldn't be in horror games, period. But man, do I just hate constantly running from things. Oh boy, this is even more challenging, isn't it? So I'm gonna have to find my way through, uh, or else I'm gonna get eaten. Uh, fuck. Shit. Oh my god. Better why? Uh. Oh, okay. This looks like a way out. This looks like a way out. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, through the woods, complete into the woods. Oh, fuck you. Goodbye. Eee! Yeah, fuck you guys. I'm out. Fuck that. Oh, boy, that was terrifying. I hated that. I wasn't there turf, but not anymore. Now we're in the sewers. Although, how fucking awful would it be if they just launched themselves down here and were like, surprise, motherfucker. Town site sewers. Yeah. yeah, there's definitely stuff down here. I forgot. Can I not up the brightness? Graphics. Brightness. Yeah, I got to up the, the brightness because holy shit is this shit dark. Oh, my Lord. There. At least you got you guys can probably see a little better, but not too much better. Dylan's dead. Sorry, girly. There's a ladder. What is this? Notice Oakwood Township sewers established 1990. Sewage conduit remains in complete construction postponed indefinitely until further notices. Completion date unknown. Oh boy. Follow the arrows. You know, I could have just jumped to that ladder. Don't know if I would have liked what could have been above, but, you know. God, so you, you presented me with a choice. I don't know that I like this choice very much. Should I assume that the red light is signaling me to go down that way? Like, that's the designated path? Oh, 
Well, I guess there's really only one way to find out. We're gonna have to take the risk. We're gonna risk it for the biscuit. All right, that was uh. Why? Why you play scary noise? What happened? Is there something down here with me now? Is that what you're trying to tell me? I don't like that. I don't like the thought of that. Not one bit. <sighs> How y'all doing? Everything going okay? Y'all doing? <laughs> mm, there is something down here with me. And I don't know where to go. I hope this isn't a maze that'll kill me. Because I want to go home. Boop. Okay, so that's a dead end that looks like. Maybe the red lights just indicate like dead ends. So ignore anything that looks like a dead end. Oh, well, you know. Yeah, it's a dead end there. I'm just gonna be circling around till I find the right path. I sure hope not. That's gonna suck ass. I'm all turned around now. Uh. Let's go this way. This doesn't look familiar at all. Okay, this looks familiar. Yeah, okay. Okay, so that's the... Okay, so this does look familiar. Okay, um... That circles back. That circles around. Jesus Christ. Am I supposed to do something with these? Yeah, oh, fucking hell. Oh, okay, find a way out. Cool. Progress save. Oh, good. Also, why didn't I hear whatever that was? It's too quiet, and I don't like it. Why? Which way do I go? The sound of water splashing actually scared the shit out of me for a little bit, like a brief second. Hey, look, a totem. What do the totems do? Are they just fun little collectibles to find? They sure do blend in. Nope, nope, fuck you. I'm just running. Not even gonna risk it. You can suck my ass. Is this a generator start station? In case of emergency water inundation, the excess port can be opened by pumping three auxiliary flow level levers. Caution, each flow lever requires a source of power. Oh, fucking A. Flashlight's dead. Awesome. That's great. That's super cool. Hell, I don't like what this is indicating. Okay. I feel like it's going to be like you have to find something while running from something. 
Uh, note written by Dylan. I lost Zoe. Don't know what to do. Don't think I'm making it out of here. Been using Carter's goggles to make my way through this place. Battery's running out, though. Hope he's okay. Zoe's got one of his radios. He might have the other one still, but the receiver's broke, so there's no way to tell. So whoever finds this, please tell my mom. Mom is... Oh, yeah, he's dead. That's blood. Dylan's dead. Oh, look. Night vision goggles. Kind of like as seen in Jurassic Park. The original. Picked up the night vision goggles. <sighs> Caution, the emergency access port is locked mechanically. The gate can be opened by pumping three auxiliary flow levers located on the flow control valve station near the generators. Please note each level requires a power transfer from a generator source. Oh god, that scared the shit out of me. Okay. Hmm. Are you fucking kidding me? So it's patrolling. So I can break a line of sight with it. Okay. Sounds like it's coming back. How do I turn these off? I was like, where the fuck is it? Alright, so this is one. So does it only stay in one area if, like, it's triggered by sound? Two. There should be a third one. Right down here. that do what I needed it to do? Can I take these off now? And now we run. Oh boy. Right? You just keep going? Okay. Well. Huh. Okay, that wasn't as, as bad as I thought. That was a pretty simple, like, patrol mechanic. I'm pretty sure there's more than one. Uh, but I don't like that I'm now out of, uh, any type of, like, dark vision. So, you know, 
turtle time complete there's something in the sewers my flashlight's dead goggles are dead oh boy what a mess is that fish no it's just a bunch of soggy bricks Okay, there's a reason I come over here. That was the reason. To unblock that. What is this? That really does look like a bunch of bent, soggy bricks. Okay. Oh boy. Well, so far, this is a, uh, I mean, this is a good game. It's a fun game. It's definitely creepy. It's got a really good, nice, creepy ambiance to it. Unknown location. But now I don't trust anything. I don't trust anything out here. Can I take you? No, I sure can't. Do I need to follow like flares? Do I need to keep a lookout for those? snuck by his t-rex so i have to sneak by a t-rex that's basically what i'm assuming is gonna be the game's like final confrontation sneaking by a goddamn t-rex cool i'm here for it but also not really because you know sneaking by t-rex is just fucking terrifying did you guys know that it's been disproven that t-rexes uh don't have vision based on movement from what i understand like that was that was a disproven theory i see footsteps footprints not footsteps footprints what's back here wait a second Is this a dead? Okay, so like, that's there, but there's also like this path here. Is this meant to be here? Did I find a secret? Is this a way to cheese it? Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, this must just be for like an Easter egg. Don't have enough totems to access this area. <gasps> oh, this is a secret. Hmm. Clever. Okay. I wonder if it's like a giant tribute to Jurassic Park, because it definitely feels like this game would have that in here. Just a whole ass like side zone that's just like a giant welcome to Jurassic Park. <laughs> okay. So big open area. Flares. Okay, so what do I need to do about that? I can't get to that flare over there. That flare is out of my reach. It's a little 
crack in the hole in the ground here. Well, worst case scenario, if you get cornered, just trace your steps back to a small little area where they can't reach you. Although, knowing Jurassic Park, dinosaurs, they're always smart enough to find you again. My assistant and I believe we've narrowed the area in which the pocket ecosystem may be located. By following the growth patterns of the unique flora that appear to bloom every seven years, we can trace the location by following the trail of age aging plant life. With any luck, the plants should lead us to their point of origin. Okay, lad. You know what would be really great, though? Like, not having a dead flashlight. <laughs> Some source of light that I could carry with me would be awesome. Or access to the night fishing goggles again. Oh, fucking hell, man. This just looks like it's going to be a really harrowing chase. Okay. Oh my god, it's a giant open area. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be running from something, dude. Or like hiding from something. And I know you guys can't, can probably like barely fucking see it. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna amp up the brightness again, cause Jesus. There we go. That's a little better, okay. Do you want me to run? I'm... Mm, tension, man. The tension. She's real. Behind me. Stay completely still. Oh, oh, you are using the vision based on this thing. You said stay completely still. You said stay completely still. Feeding time gets devoured by a T-Rex. Ah, these fucking this far ass checkpoint, man. I'm not touching anything. Just gonna hide right here. Let the grass violently shake. Okay, so the question is, am I actually going to outrun this fucking T-Rex? I doubt it. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Fuck you. Oh my god. I actually outran the T-Rex. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> okay, sure. I'll believe that logic. Broski, what am I needed to do here? Ugh. Did it really break through again? Oh my god! Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Oh my god. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna keep running. I hate this. What? What is this? What the fuck is this? Is this the nest? Is this where it eats things? 
I think this is where it eats things. Oh, cool. Uh, dear Mr. Stevens, we invite you and six other guests to spend an adventurous weekend at the Oakwood camping site on July 7th for three nights. Directions, follow Burn Trail for 13 kilometers to Green Lake. Find Logging Road on North Shore. Follow Logging Road for eight kilometers. Use the keys into the mail to unlock the gate. Please lock the gate behind you. Have a wonderful trip. Are you all like sacrificing dinosaurs or people to the dinosaurs? Oh boy. Oh, I'm fucked. There is no getting out of this. Oh yeah, sacrifice, complete the game. Well, that sucks. I mean, like the ending, like that, the, oh no, we died, everything was in vain ending. Like that, that sucks, that is what it is, you know? The stories, they do be like that. Anyways, that was fun. That that game definitely felt like an homage to um, to Jurassic Park, and I really, really liked it. I always like horror games that involve dinosaurs. There's really not a lot out there, um, and I am really excited for the uh, Jurassic Park survival horror game that's going to be coming out eventually, because there is one in the works, I believe. So... We're going to get through these credits real quick, and then I'll be back for the outro. But if you guys enjoyed this, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. I'd greatly appreciate the support. Uh, leave anything down in the comments below, like things you want to see, uh, things you think I could improve on. Because that's that's another thing that I'm really trying to work my best on right now, is like figuring out places where I can improve as content creator and as a streamer to help provide even more entertainment for you guys. support your local dinosaur shelter. <laughs> Well, that is the end of Oakwood. As I uh, mentioned earlier, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed playing it. Um, like I said, this this felt like a great little like homage to Jurassic Park. So please, please show your love uh, for the video, for the game. Go check it out for yourself. I've linked the game down below in the description for you guys to play. It is not too expensive at all. And a lot of these, if I'm going to be real with y'all, a lot of these indie developers nowadays, like I know this is an older game, but right now a lot of these indie developers are really killing it out here compared to a lot of these AAA studios. A lot of these AAA studios are dropping the ball and fucking up and these indie devs are out here showing them up hard with their games. So please make sure you guys support them uh, in the games that they make, in the games that you like, because a lot of them are very talented and really, really deserve it. So please uh, come hang out with me over on Twitch. Head over to twitch.tv backslash kill the horizon. I stream three to four days a week, depending on how much free time I've got, which now I have a lot more free time thanks to my work schedule. So I'm very, very, very happy about that. Uh, so you guys will be seeing a lot more of me streaming here on YouTube and on Twitch. You guys can talk to me on any of the social medias right down below in the description. Other than that, please be good to each other and I'll see you guys in the next video.